Thank you so much for uh, the opportunity to speak at your conference. Today I'm going to talk to you about Stoicism and how we can apply it to our personal and professional lives. Even though Stoicism is thousands of years old, it's still just as relevant today as it was back then. A little bit about me, uh, I'm a delivery lead at Liatrio. We help companies modernize by implementing DevOps fundamentals through pairing and dojos. I've been doing systems engineering work for about 20 plus years. Uh, I'm, I've worked at AWS at startups at the DOD. I'm an Iraq war veteran, a human and cat dad, and a DevOps Days Austin organizer. Uh, so it was founded, Stoicism was founded in, in uh, 300 BCE by Zeno Sidium. Notable Stoics include Cicero, Epicetus, and Marcus Aurelius. Um, the first of the four Stoic virtues is wisdom. Uh, they favored simplicity over complexity. Wisdom is understanding what's in your control and what isn't, and accepting that you control how you respond. Nothing is intrinsically good or bad. We assign those labels based on our perceptions of events. Don't take for granted that production is fine just because you don't get a page, right? Make sure that you can answer the question, is the user happy? Embrace change as a natural part of your personal and professional life and practice blamelessness in order to get at the root cause of things. Avoid finger pointing, it makes it hard to run postmortems. The second stoic virtue is temperance. It's doing and having only what's essential and learning to be happy with only what you need and avoid doing things in excess like YAML. Avoid materialism as it leads us away from living a virtuous life. And the logos of control states that you can only control how you respond to things. So be even kill when acting and reacting, avoid emotional extremes. The only thing you really have control over is, how, is the way that you act and react. You can't control most things in life, so don't worry about doing so. And even if production's on fire, keep calm and carry on. The third stoic virtue is courage. It's resisting the comfort of the status quo and coming to your own judgment. Challenge yourself personally and professionally so that you can grow and evolve, you know, avoid stagnation. And being courageous also means that we need to act without losing our principles. Run books and playbooks give us a confidence to walk a tight rope when production is on fire, so make sure to build those out. Master your fear, even if everything's falling apart and everything's on fire, you need to not be paralyzed by fear. And be brave enough to call out injustices and people being marginalized. The last virtue is justice. It's contributing to the common good and caring for the welfare of other human beings. Everything in life is interconnected. Uh, it's the Stoic idea of sympathia. And our ability to care for others and share knowledge is essential to building an equitable world. Treat others with dignity, respect, and equality, or treat others as you want to be treated, the golden rule. If you've read The Phoenix Project, you know who Brent is and avoid being that person. If you learn something new, spread that knowledge far and wide in order to improve your culture and help others. The first stoic discipline is the discipline of assent. It's learning to be mindful of our judgments, giving people a chance instead of relying on gut reactions. Prejudices and biases get in the way of being virtuous, and our perception of the world directly affects how we act around others and react in situations. So, amor fati means the love of fate. You know, this quote by Epicetus really kind of gets to the heart of that. Entropy is real and things will eventually fail and fall apart. Premortems of techniques like chaos engineering help us overcome entropy in our infrastructure. The discipline of desire is learning to accept fate, that things will happen regardless of them wanting to happen. Everything ends, so we need to accept the impermanence of things and focus on how we live our life. And we need to be careful of the things that we chase after as you only have a finite amount of time left on the earth. So this is a mortality calendar that I keep at my desk. Each column is a week, each row is a year. And I check a box every week and it really shows me how much time I have left. And it acts as a forcing function to make me do things that really matter in my life. Um, the discipline of action is learning to act well with regards to others and mankind as a whole. Um, things that are virtuous are worth doing and improve not only our life, but the lives of others. Material things are fleeing, focusing on intangibles like community and friendship, things that make life worth living is important. So I love this quote by Marcus Aurelius. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, it, it, when I was at Amazon, I learned this kind of mental model of do, delegate, drop. Uh, do the things that influences your career or furthers your goals. Uh, delegate things that help your team, but don't further your goals and drop things that don't. Um, and don't be an asshole, right? Living and acting rationally is how we should live life and it leads to better culture and society. The only thing you really control in life is how you react to things, so be calm. So to recap, Stoicism is a philosophy focused on how we can virtuously lead our best life. The Stoic virtues are, are a kind of roadmap of how we should live our lives. And the Stoic disciplines give us tools that we can use in our everyday life to live more virtuously. Uh, shameless plug, I work for a little company called Liatrio. Uh, we help enterprises implement DevOps practices through pairing and dojos. If your company's struggling to modernize, we love to help you increase your velocity and reduce toil. 
Thank you so much for your time and your patience and your attention. This is an awesome conference. Let's do open spaces. Thank you. <laughs>